one of the most popular and innovative celebrity chefs on television. I'm making my nachos with uh, squid and squid ink. David Burke has put his culinary skills to the test on competitive cooking shows like Bravo's Top Chef Masters and the Food Network's Iron Chef America. I've never seen a challenger chef walk into Kitchen Stadium with such confidence. How do you feel? I feel good, ready to go. During his illustrious career, Burke has launched more than a dozen restaurants, written two books, and established his own unique culinary style. I love experimenting. That's part of why I love what I do. It's part of why I'm good at it. I don't, I don't take the, the easy route. I know I created pastrami salmon and swordfish chops and dry-aged beef with the salt. I created cheesecake lollipops with my two boys because I bought these lollipop molds at a garage sale. I made smoked salmon pops put them in the molds, trying to get them to eat fish. Didn't work, but that's how the idea was born. Today, the 55-year-old chef is opening up his home so we can see what David Burke really cooks for dinner. Hello, I'm David Burke, welcome to my home. One of the good things about living on the Jersey side of Manhattan is you get great views. So you look out the window, you see Manhattan. My restaurants are 10 miles away and they are right where that skinny building, new one is. I've collected art for years, and these are uh, Chagall's and Picasso lithographs. I'm a big Chihuly fan. Dale Chihuly, who's done so many wonderful things with glass, is an inspiration to me. And in fact, Chihuly is the guy that painted my shoes. He also painted my clocks. I wear them on special occasions like this. You know, I wore them on Top Chef Masters. Hey, Boy, Chef Burke, your shoes were yeah. badass. Thanks. They're conversational, they're artistic, they're fun. Hey, 1984 called, they want their shoes back. <laughs> the best thing really about Top Chef Masters is the camaraderie amongst all the chefs. One of the scariest parts was skydiving out of a plane. I don't feel like I'm a Superman here. We're flying. It wasn't my favorite part, but it wasn't the, the worst part either. But I'm certainly, somebody said, the least you got that off your bucket list. And I was like, that was never on my bucket list. Now we're stepping into the kitchen, so this is an appliance I, I love. It's an air fryer, so it's also a, a just a, an air oven. It's a small tabletop oven. This is my design. This is the design, uh, a little bit of an egg shape, but it's dry cooking. So not only, there's no oil, no fat, you can do vegetables in here, cube them up, put them in, and eight minutes later you have what you'd call, even though it's not steamed, they're almost steaming themselves because of the liquid in there, like zucchini. You'd steam right in broccoli, beautiful. And you get a little caramelization, which makes things taste a little better. So I'm very happy with it. Well now, as you enter the cooking space, uh, you know, I got some spices over here, some plates, my coffee maker. And then I have my tools here. All these are knives from various times in my career. But this knife I've had since, I don't know, 30 years. Oftentimes, one of the main questions chefs get is, what do you eat at home? Well, dinner oftentimes is here, and it's cereal. Cold cuts, turkey bacon, condiments, called the door sauce. Over here, hemp milk, all kinds of juices, eggs. My steak sauce, where I got jam, fruit. This is Kobe beef. It looks like fat. There's a lot of fat, but it's good fat. And this is a Japanese steak. We serve some of this at at the BLT restaurants, Tavern 62 sometimes. It's a specialty item. It's so hard to get. There's not enough. The demand far outweighs the supply. So it's $120 a pound for me to buy it. So, you know, it's, it's high. So we have, you know, to, to serve this steak, we'd be $800. So this is, a, this is a luxury item. Anyway, back in the fridge. Time to actually do some cooking. So this is pastrami salmon. It's a slice of David Burke's pastrami salmon. You get the sweet, then the heat. So it's really fascinating. Today we're gonna to be doing two breakfast for dinner type of dishes. The first one is a combination of pastrami salmon, which is smoked salmon with pastrami spices, which is one of my signature dishes. We're going to use arepa, which is a Colombian corn cake. And uh, we're going to use this as our base and we're going to top it with some cream cheese and scallions, a little bit of horseradish sauce and some egg. Here's the arepa toaster. It looks, it's basically an old-fashioned toaster. That's how they used to make toast. Now you can also put them in a toaster, 
Doesn't, this is the classic way. So the next thing we'll do is get an egg ready. So the eggs are cooking. Arepa is cooking. Well, the scallions, listen, I, I use the greens. You can use the whites. I use the greens for mostly for this type of dish. At the end, I'm gonna put a little bit of raw red onion. Our arepa is cooked. I, what I like to do now is put some of the cream cheese while it's warm. So that's almost, we're treating it, the cream cheese like butter. Delicious, and the corn you can smell, it's beautiful. So this is pastrami salmon. It's a slice of David Burke's pastrami salmon. The key to it is we smoke salmon, we paint it with boiled molasses and cayenne. That kind of almost candies on it. And then we hit it with a bunch of spices, black pepper, cayenne, coriander. When you hit your palate, the molasses, when it melts, the cayenne wakes up. So you get the sweet, then the heat. So it's really fascinating uh, to eat this. I'm gonna put a little bit of fresh parsley here. I also put a little bit of my sauce because it's got horseradish in it. Horseradish always goes good with smoked fish or any fish, very little, just to wake it up. And it cuts through some of that richness of both the fish. If you don't have my sauce, which is the B1 brand, use cocktail sauce or another kind of, or Worcestershire. Here's your eggs with a little bit of scallion on it. Himalayan sea salt. I'll put one more piece of salmon on top. Red onion. And this would be something that I would cook at home. Breakfast for dinner. You got, again, arepa, toasted cream cheese, pastrami salmon, scallions, two over easy, onion. This is a classic. Now we're gonna do a sweet dish. This dish is a combination of many different things. It starts out as the idea of a peanut butter sandwich and French toast but we cook it in a waffle machine. So it's gonna be a French toast cooked in a waffle machine made with peanut butter. The sauce, instead of having jelly on the inside, we're gonna boil maple syrup, orange juice, jelly, and bananas and strawberries together to make a really, really decadent syrup. First step is peanut butter, and you just make a sandwich. Very simple. We all can do that. Okay, next is eggs. Again, cracking them. Simple, a little bit of cinnamon. So here's our, what we call a royale. That's what they call it in the restaurant terms. Your royale is ready. So you wanna, what you wanna do is when you whip this, you wanna break up those egg whites so they're not clumpy. We're gonna sit our bread one time like this, one time like that, and we're gonna let it soak. And that's how it gets custardy. We're gonna try and absorb all that egg into this bread. Next step, sauce. I have grape jelly. All right, I like the peanut butter and jelly. Maple syrup, this is the good stuff. And a little bit of OJ, a little bit of lime juice. So next step is this fantastic, is a word, vertical waffle maker. So we're gonna make French toast, it's on number four, that's cooking. So I don't have to saute. I can cook one of these, rest it. My peanut butter is gonna melt and get ooey. And we're gonna go back to our banana. This is one banana. And then I got a couple strawberries. Look at that. Let's not forget, this was a sandwich. Peanut butter sandwich. All right, you see the peanut butter hot came out? Beautiful. Two pieces of bread, peanut butter, the Royale, which is the egg. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter. Who doesn't like butter with a waffle? Nice. Got the butter melting. I'm putting this beautiful sauce on. It's, you know, it's got great ingredients. Strawberries, bananas, maple syrup orange, and, and grape jelly. The beauty of it is how simple it is and, and then how gourmet it looks. I, I really, really like the arepa, but I really love the waffle. And I want to finish eating them in peace. So thank you very much now. Get, get out of my house, please. <laughs>